this is the third video, and then we're going to talk a little bit more about human population growth. And, and this one, we're going to look at factors um, that affect birth rate, death rate, things like that. Uh, so factors that affect birth and fertility rates. Uh, there's quite a few. Uh, children part of the labor force. Uh, one of eight people on the planet, uh, unfortunately, uh, make less than $2 a day, 900 million people. Um, and 2.1 billion live on $3.10 a day or less. Uh, you spend that on, uh, more than that on coffee in the morning, at least you used to. Um, so it's amazing that, uh, you know, we take for granted a lot of this. Cost of raising children, educating children, fewer children need to support seniors. Um, used to have lots of kids uh, to, to make sure that somebody supported you in your old age. Uh, family, family planning, access to education, uh, age of women over 25 have fewer children, abortion, and reliable birth control, religious beliefs, traditions, and social norms. So uh, I kind of just read you the slide, which is I hate doing. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to talk about this in, in the Zoom session this week. So um, we, will, we will spend more time on that. And then the Factors that affect death rate uh, over the last hundred years, uh, we have reduced this, and it's better nutrition, better medical, you know, uh, better sanitation. Uh, I'll have to say it's not great, it's better, and let's keep that uh, uh, in mind. Uh, and so life expect uh, expectancy has increased, and, and so guys, I'm going to tell you, you want to live longer, uh, get married. Uh, um, uh, it turns out males that are married tend to live longer. Uh, you know. The, Partners tend to um, get on them to take care, better care of themselves, um, you know, or maybe it just seems longer. Excuse me, nagging here, but <laughs> don't tell my wife. Uh, no. Um, uh, the other thing, though, is uh, I hate to tell you, women, is actually you live longer than men. Uh, it's typical, uh, but uh, you actually your life is slightly shorter uh, uh, when you get married. So you might want to rethink that. Stop taking care of uh, us, I guess. Um, and uh, mort uh, infant mortality rate has dropped. Um, and so, uh, and that's in some countries, that's not around the world, but uh, um, yeah, on average. All right, and then we have migration. We talked about immigration and emigration. And uh, um, so things have improved. Uh, and, and they're talking about reasons that meet people um, go to one place or a different place. You know, it's usually looking for work, looking for jobs, looking for money, uh, opportunities, uh, trying to get away from persecution for religion, ethnic, um, uh, sexual orientation, um, all kinds of different uh, reasons people are, are, are being shifted. Um, and then also uh, environmental refugees. Some places are just uh, being devastated to the point where uh, they no longer support a population of people that are there. Uh, and so these are some of the reasons people migrate. Uh, age structure makes a big, huge difference. So uh, you can see some that are expanding rapidly um, and are gonna continue to grow because they have a very young population with a, a, a high growth rate. So places like Guatemala, not, Niger and Saudi Arabia are expected to uh, have some uh, explosions in people. Uh, expanding slowly now, we see things like the United States and China. China has actually slowed down. We'll talk about that in the Zoom session. And then some, some are stable. Some like um, Russia, Finland, Austria, high, high levels of um, um, highly developed countries and they're fairly stable. And then uh, we have some that are actually declining in Japan, Greece, Hungary, where uh, they don't have a lot of young people there. And so uh, they are running into, into issues. Um, so the American baby boom, the graying of America, there is a issue. You can see the yellow, there's the baby boomers. Um, and now they're getting older. And what that means is they're gonna actually have to um, uh, be supported. I, I guess you don't have to, I, I mean, uh, I'm hoping as I'm one of the uh, the grayers. Uh, um, but um, but there are problems when you have a rapid uh, um, population decline. So when when you do start to um, lose individuals, they can uh, it can damage uh, business. Um, and it increases pressure on taking care of the old and, and health costs, pet pensions, um, which is always a problem. 
um, especially if people are living longer. So um, uh, definitely causing issues. We're gonna see that coming up very, very shortly, uh, if not already in the United States. And how can we slow the population? Um, it turns out economic development is one of the easiest ways um, is people that are working, um, especially women, uh, that means that they uh, usually have fewer children. Uh, the, the best probably way to slow population growth is educating and empowering women. Um, women account for 66% of all hours work, but get only 10% of the income and own just 2% of the world's land. Uh, women, you should uh, uprise. <laughs> that, that is just not fair on so many levels. Um, and uh, they make up 79% of the world's poor. And so uh, we need to do a better job. And it turns out we know for a fact empowering women and educating women uh, is the key to economic success and in a, in a good positive way of um, slowing population growth. And then family planning. And family planning, again, will be something that we, um, we talk about in the Zoom session. So we will go ahead and stop the recording. <laughs>